Hey lovelies, welcome back to All About Jamie. Today is going to be a very exciting episode because I will be making the lemon meringue pie. And of course, we cannot be without the most important ingredient, which are lemons. And I have plenty of that in my garden. So follow me as I show you a tour around my garden. So as you know guys, my lemon trees make me very happy. And every morning I will say hello to them and say some positive things to them, which is why they are growing so well. For the lemon meringue pie, we need about two to three lemons. I'm just going to pick three from my trees right now. Before it rains, I can hear the thunder. This whole bunch. <laughs> right, we have more than enough. We can't really control the weather, and I feel that it might be going to rain cats and dogs. So let's do a quick garden tour because many of you have been dying to see the garden. We'll just do a small portion of the garden. Of course, I have my back garden where I plant my fruit trees and uh, some veggies. But right here, what we have here is this huge rosemary bush, which I love so much because I love to uh, make cocktail drinks in the evening and I could just set them with rosemary and I could use them as well to make bread, um, pasta, to marinate my beef. There's so many uses for this. So uh, next I have here it's a tangerine tree. They're not supposed to be like oranges, like orange like oranges. So uh, they would kind of be a little bit more yellowish green when they're ready to be harvested. So this is a brinjal plant. It has already produced like five dinners for me right now. It has no fruit, but I did see like a flower or two yesterday. So soon we'll get some brinjals and they are really huge. That's a lime tree, a very small one, or what you might call a calamansi. Over here, we have this herb that is called sage. Sage is like so good for our our immune system and tea that is kind of furry. I like to caramelize my onions with them. Even just making a plain creamy pasta dish with it is absolutely delicious. You can see that I have some Chinese parsley. Over here, we have some roots, which are ginger. This is a big ginger. Right here, ginger and this is a turmeric ginger. You can see the little turmeric growing. I have tons of turmeric in my back garden as well. It's really good for your body's immune system as well. I give it to my dogs. They chew it. It is super for their dental health. <laughs> and I make turmeric with raw honey and drink it. Very, very good for your body. Anti-cancer, anti everything that is bad. I love my mint. So that's my mint, uh, mint plant. Have them with hot water. I have them with spring rolls. Right here is aloe vera. I'm sure many of you know what is aloe vera. They're really good for your skin. So just applying it on my face hydrates my skin. And um, it also prevents me from getting breakout. It also helps with some scarring that you might have here. This is a spring onions. We use them a lot for many, many dishes that we make at home. That's dill. It's looking pretty sad. Looking pretty sad at the moment, but I think at least it looks quite healthy. So have faith. These are different kinds of mint. This is like a spear mint. You can see that it's sharp. 
the spearmint. You know, like chewing gum, spearmint. You can even make mouth wash with them. So, amazing. I just love this spearmint smell and that is Audi Cologne Mint. With so many different varieties of mint. Oh, the weather! <gasps> yes, I feel it. Okay, I'm just going to do this part. These are my basil. Different, different kind of basil. So I use the different basil for different purposes. That's sweet basil, that's Thai basil, cocoa basil. So there we have them. Over here is ginger flower. Uh, it is also a root, but because it's like kind of getting heavy, the rain, I'm not going to show you a root, maybe in the next video. And last but not least, before the rain starts pouring on me, here are my cherry tomatoes. They're kind of light in color, but in a week they'll be red. So let's make the run for it! In the nick of time. Guys, you can hear that it's raining cats and dogs, and um, I'm quite happy that I'm doing something in the kitchen. So, I am going to make the ultimate lemon meringue pie, and the first step would be making the pastry. And for the pastry, the ingredients will be 175 grams of plain flour, 100 grams of whole butter cut into small pieces, a tablespoon of icing sugar, and one egg yolk. So I like to prepare everything beforehand so that it is a much neater process than to be weighing and pouring, and especially if I'm making a video, right? So let's um, get to it. And the next step will be to put everything into a mixing bowl. I see sugar, egg yolk, I'm going to give it a light mix and then I will put one tablespoon of cold water. Just mix everything well. Before putting it into the processor to mix everything up into a dough. Why am I using a glass bowl? That doesn't even make sense. It's gonna be a Wonder Woman to do this. I mean now this makes so much more sense a plastic bowl that is light and handy don't make the same mistake as me trying to be glamorous but end up I am no wonder woman <laughs> What we need is to just bind all the ingredients together. And I'm gonna knead it with my hands, so let's always wash it. Right, so just kind of lightly roll it into a ball. You don't actually have to knead, knead it like you would normally. Just throw it into a bowl, then to just press it into the pie tin. Now use a fork to just put some holes. of aluminium foil, just press on it, 
and you could use like beans or rice. I would uh, rather use this beautiful necklace. But sometimes it doubles up as a fashion accessory. Let's just put this on top and it's ready to go into the oven at preheated temperature of 180 degrees and we are going to bake this for 15 minutes. Okay, while the pastry is baking, I am going to prepare the filling right now. So I'm going to mix two tablespoons of corn flour, 100 grams of caster sugar. This is the finely grated zest of two large lemons right here. And this is the juice of one small orange mixed with 200 ml of water. And of course, most important ingredient, 125 ml of pure lemon juice. Bring the saucepan and cook it over medium heat. Now that the mixture is bubbling, we'll take it off the heat. And then, we're going to beat up four eggs. Pour that in. And then the water. And we'll bring it back to the heat. Continue stirring, but this time more vigorously. Okay, right now, I'll just pour the filling into the pastry. Make sure it's evenly distributed. And next, I'm going to make the meringue. And that's actually the most fun part to me. So I have prepared the sugar, the egg white mother. Hey, you're home. What are you doing? I'm making meringue. Oh. At this moment, I am making a the ultimate lemon meringue pie. Oh, it's great that Calista is home because she's great at making meringues. Mm -hmm. Shall we get <laughs> The sugar. So we put half the sugar in here. I love watching the meringue cake. My favorite part. Now we can um, add the rest of the sugar and my favourite part is actually watching the meringue peak. So now we add the cornstarch so that it can be a bit thicker for the tart. until it's stiff and glossy and how you can check that it's stiff is enough is that you put it upside down and it Over doesn't your fall hair. out of the bowl. Scary. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we're gonna put the meringue in the part now and put it on the outside edges and make sure that it touches the edge. And the, the oven has been preheated to 160 degrees from uh, just now I had it on 180, adjusted it to 160 to bake the pie. Okay, and now we're gonna make it a bit prettier. So we're using the spoon to make like 
little swirls in the meringue. Very nice. Okay. Leave it to bake for about uh, 18 to 20 minutes. Okay. Yes! Alright, it's been 20 minutes. I think it's time for us to take the pie out, right? Okay. Smells good. Be careful. Oh, it's beautiful. Can I eat it now? I think we should let it rest for like half an hour so it cools down and then we can cut it next. Right, yeah, that's because if we cut it now, the filling is just going to be all gooey, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I will wait. Good things come to those who wait. <laughs> So now I'm gonna decorate the lemon meringue tart with some lemon slices. I'm just gonna lay it on the top to make it look pretty. And it's done, let's serve it. Mmm, yummy. We hope you guys have enjoyed our baking video and Hope that you can try our recipe at home. Do tag us in your photos or videos and stay safe and stay indoors as much as you can. Keep up the good vibes. See you next week. Ten. Ten. No. 